For this week's Touch Base in Seoul, we have a Korean singer, songwriter, and music director who is making his mark in the U.S. musical scene. Lee sang or sang Simon E recently won the Eric H. Weinberger Award for Emerging Librettists and from the Amas Musical Theatre in New York for his co-created work, Settle Down, a new hip-hop musical. And he's standing by via video call now to tell us more about himself, his musical and his future plans. Mr. E, it's a pleasure to have you on the show today. Yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. Can you start us off by briefly introducing yourself uh, in your own words to our listeners and our viewers? Yeah, sure. Uh, hi, my name is Sang Lee, also known as Simon Lee. Uh, I'm an NYC-based singer-songwriter, composer, and music director, especially for musical theater. And I've done several musical works in Korea, and after moving to the States, now I'm working with diverse artists in NYC, and I recently I got awarded, as you said. And well, again, cool. yeah, thank you for having me. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations on your award. <laughs> uh, how did it feel when you found out that you'd won? I mean, we didn't expect that. So like, it was very honored and excited. Mm. Uh, can you tell us more about this work? As we said, uh, you won the Eric H. Weinberger Award. Uh, it was the piece is called Settle Down, a new hip hop musical, which you co-created with Gabe Caruso. Can you tell us about this musical? What's it about and how did you come about making it? Uh, so Settle Down is a new hip hop musical. It's all wrapped through and family drama with various music genres, including K-pop, folk, jazz, R&B and more. At first, the Settle Down is our thesis that we created while earning our MFA at NYU Tisch. Originally, our musical was um, based off of a, a news story where a doctor at fertility clinic was being arrested for using his own sperm in over 40 cases. So we are very uh, interested in this and we researched it, the family, how they feel about it and what the meaning of family is to them. After a few drops, we realized that this story felt cruel in that our characters were being punished for something they didn't dissolve. So we went back to the drawing board and focused on what was really important to us. We wanted to our uh, character to have to deal with consequences or, of um, their own actions rather than having difficulties thrust upon themselves. And we look within ourselves and ask what we wanted to spend the year writing about. We came up with one word, family. And uh, the journey of writing our show has taken us down um, many twists and turns. But when the chips are down, we have always stayed true to the central theme of familial love mm -hmm. and the concept of unconventional family structures. At the base, this is a story about Mark, a foster kid who has never had a family and his deep desire to belong to one. The other characters in this piece also have a desire to be part of something greater, but struggle to give up what they have in order to become vulnerable enough to love and be loved. Yes, it sounds like a very uh, moving musical that tackles with a lot of issues. It seems like you had a lot on your mind when creating it. Uh, you also described mm -hmm. it as a uh, all rap musical, uh, but it also incorporates yeah. the musics of uh, K-pop, folk, jazz, R&B, you said earlier. That's quite a wide variety of styles. What was the process of uh, creating this musical like? How did you and your colleague work together like this? Like, it was a lot of hard work. Uh, first, two, we met at a musical theory writing program. Uh, and my teach gave was uh, the only rapper in our class and I was really interested in wanting to challenge myself, try new things. And uh, luckily, we had a chance to work with a rapper from Kashmir, which is a country next to India. And I haven't really worked with a rapper before. And then we wrote a song together about political issues between India and Kashmir. And then I realized that uh, rap is a very good tool to deliver a message clearly. At the same time, gave like my K-pop style and my own beat as well. So we start to work together. 
Right, so it seems like they had this creative spark that just fit for you and uh, uh, Mr. Gaber Caruso. Can you yeah. go back to a bit more about the start of your career as well? From what I understand, you were an art major before switching to music. How did that happen? What led you to music? So yeah, it's a long journey. Um, I've been like majoring in painting since I was young. And when I was 18, I just focused on getting into a good college like other Korean students. At the moment, um, I attended an art academy from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. at Hongdae. Suddenly, I just thought that I just don't want to live like this kind of life mm. and sitting on an easel and painting the same thing over and over again. Then I just got out of the building and walked down to the street and I saw like busking singers and musicians. And I feel like they are just the souls of butterflies and want to be like them. And also, I love singing and playing a piano as well. And I just told my mom that I want to change my major. And then she was shocked and she went to the ER. <laughs> and I kept pursuing her with singing all the time at home. And then she found my talent. And then I changed my major to music. Right. And I'm guessing you enjoyed it. Your career seemed to have taken off. Uh, how did you then get involved in musical theater as well? Uh, first, as I said, like, I wanted to be a singer, like a K-pop star, but I realized <laughs> that I want more to deliver my message uh, through my melody than uh, being a star on stage. So I, when I was 25, 24, I started to study composing, and fortunately, I met a composer, Damiro, who is a very popular composer and music director in Korean music theory industry. And he recommended me to participate in a project of Seoul Art Institute and Yongin University's uh, collaboration as a composer. And I had a like, very hard time because I had never done anything like this, working with many people, creative team and actors, tag team and more. Mm -hmm. And after I finished and saw my show, and that was the first time that I just felt like I'm alive. That is what I, need, what I need to do for the rest of my life. And I, I started, yeah. And after that, I did some musical works, uh, Ugly Duckling and Andersen with Young Street Troops, which is one of the biggest theater company in Korea. At the same time, um, suddenly I felt like I need to study more. I'm not enough to make better quality music and understand the drama. So I had to get better knowledge of composing skill and broaden my perspective mm. with other people as well. So then I decided to study abroad at Berkeley College of Music and NYU Tisch, and here I am. Right. Uh, you recently, I understand, graduated from the NYU Tisch School of the Arts a Graduate Musical Theatre Writing Program, and that was last year. What was that experience like? What was it like going to the US to learn more about musicals and continue your studies in music? Well, first, like Berkeley College of Music and MIU is the like top tier of a music school and a musical theater uh, program. Uh, one of my professors recommended me to go there because you could learn like a drama more, not only just uh, learning composing skill mm. and meeting like with like diverse uh, people from other countries as well. So that's the biggest like pros, I think. And yeah. And that's where you met uh, Gabe Caruso and created Settle Down. Uh, how's that journey been so far? Could you have imagined when you started this journey that you would end up here? Not, uh, I, I say like, again, like we didn't expect that. Actually, like after COVID appeared, like we had like a really depressing time because actually we had like many great opportunity after graduate. Mm. from like colleagues and other uh, theater companies, but it all canceled. And like, because just of the COVID-19 hard time. situation, you're saying, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And How? then we just did some, yeah. How? Uh, and we just did like a- Go on, sorry. Online carburetor. 
online cabaret through Zoom and just submit as many submissions to the theater company and colleges as we could for the future. How hard has the pandemic hit uh, the theater industry in the U.S.? So how has it been for you? What have you seen? Um, like in-person performance is all canceled, as I said. Mm. Um, many people just doing like online cabaret or online performance with uh, Zoom. But the quality of performance is not that like as much as good um, real performance because mm. there is a rate of things. So and also energy. We could not feel any energy from the stage and actors. So it's very sad now. Indeed, hopefully the coronavirus situation will get better as more and more people vaccinated. Slowly, uh, places like the US are opening up, uh, but we will see how that situation develops. We wish you the best of luck. Uh, now that you've won this award, what's next for you? Will we be seeing a production of Settle Down in the future at some point? Yeah, we are going to have a production in a festival called Dare to be Different by Amas Theatre uh, next January and February. Uh, after the festival, we are planning to have some uh, workshops and produce it on Off-Broadway. And also, I'm connecting with a Korean musical theater company to bring this show to Korea. So I hope that Korean audiences also will be able to enjoy my show in this future. Yes, I'm sure Korean audiences uh, will be very much looking forward to that. Uh, before we go as well, as a singer-songwriter, I understand you have been working to uh, compose music for some K-pop artists in the past as well. Can mm -hmm. you tell us a bit more about that? Uh, do we, would, are there any names that we might recognize that you've worked for? Well, yeah, I have lots of K-pop songs and then it's going to be released at some point. But I can't say who I'm working with. <laughs> but the only thing I can say is that one is going to be out first in China. Right, okay. And so please keep an eyes on me. Yeah. Okay, well, we wish you luck uh, on that and your production is well coming in January and perhaps a show in Korea as well. I'm sure it'll mm -hmm. be a fantastic show. We've been speaking to Mr. Lee sang or sang Simon Lee. Thank you once again for connecting with us today and sharing your story. Thank you.